just filmed 98% of this video, but I deleted the footage. Triceratops and 30 of its relatives. Here's a picture of the Ceratopsian family tree. There's a glossary in the description that explains some biological terms. The five characteristics that make a ceratopsian are beaks, horns, frill, large quadruped, herbivorous diet. Ceratops is Greek for horned face. Let's start with the most famous ceratopsian, Triceratops. It was first described by O.C. Marsh in 1889. There are fossils representing all stages of life, from hatchling to adult. Its distinct features include a large bony frill and three long horns. It was one of the largest ceratopsids at 29.5 feet long. It was also an estimated 13.2 tons. The first specimen was a pair of brown horns attached to a skull roof. It was found in Denver, Colorado in 1887 by George Lyman Cannon. He sent the specimen to Marsh, who at first thought it was a bison. Marsh realized it was actually a dinosaur when a third more complete skull was presented to him. In no particular order, here are 30 relatives. Another decently popular ceratopsid is Styracosaurus. The name means spiked lizard. It was named in 1913. It was up to 18 feet long and 5.9 feet tall. Its distinct features were four to six long parietal spikes extending from its frill, a small juggle horn on each of its cheeks, and a single horn protruding from its nose, which may have been up to two feet long and six inches wide. Styracosaurus was up to 18 feet long and 5.9 feet tall. The frill spikes could be up to 22 inches long. The nose horn was estimated to have been about the same. Next is Centrosaurus. They were up to 18 feet long and had a single large horn over its nose. The nose horn curves forward or backwards. Skull ornamentation reduced as they aged. The frill was relatively short compared to the total skull length. They had two large hornlets that hooked over the frill and a pair of small hornlets over the eyes. The frill had small hornlets along the outer edges. The first remains were discovered and named by Lawrence Lomba in 1904. The name means pointed lizard. Protoceratops was about the size of a sheep, six feet long and two feet tall at the shoulder. The name means first horned face. It was first described in 1923 by Walter W. Granger and W. K. Gregory. It had a large neck frill with a proportionately large skull. These ceratopsians lacked well-developed horns. It had a massive frontal beak. This dinosaur may have inspired some griffin myths. Chasmosaurus was about 15 feet long and weighed about two tons. The name means opening lizard, referring to the large openings in the frill. It was first discovered by 1898 by Lawrence Lamba. It was officially named in 1914. It had three main facial horns like most ceratopsids. The horns are quite short and the frill is very elongated. Achillosaurus was first found in 1987 by a team led by Jack Horner. It was about 20 feet long and weighed 3.3 tons. The skull alone was an estimated 5.3 feet long. Their unique characteristics included a nasal bone with bosses on the top, relatively large bosses above the eyes, and a single pair of curved spikes coming from the neck frill. The name means Achilles lizard. In Greek mythology, Achilles was the god associated with the Achilles River, the largest river in Greece. He was also said to be the father of the sirens. Inusaurus is exclusively found in Montana. It was discovered by Jack Horner in 1985. It was about the size of previously mentioned Achillosaurus, but far less robust. It was an estimated 15 feet long and 1.4 tons. The nasal horn is long and strongly curved forwards. It has a longer base and is rounder in side view. It also had two large spikes sticking out of the neck frill. The name means buffalo lizard, and a combination of Blackfoot Indian and Latinized Greek. Coronasaurus was discovered by Philip J. Carey and described in 2005. The name means crowned lizard. It had irregular spiky bosses on the frill. It also had inflated suborbital horn cores above the eye sockets. It grew up to around 16 feet long. Cosmoceratops was discovered in Utah in 2006. The name means ornate horned face. It had a blade-like nasal horn with a flattened upper portion. The horns above the eyes pointed up and to the side. It was an estimated 15 feet long and 1.3 tons. Studies of bone histology show that Cosmoceratops grew rapidly and had an elevated metabolism, like modern birds and mammals. Spiclipius was found in 2005 by Bill D. Shipp a nuclear physicist. It was an estimated 15 to 20 feet long. Spiclipius had a wrinkled nose bone, eye socket horn cores that project up and to the side. All six frill horns, called epiparietals, are fused at the base. The first two pairs curve down, and the third pair point back to the midline of the frill. The name means spiked sheep. Celosaurus is seen as a transitional form between Styracosaurus and Ineosaurus on a single evolutionary line that led to Achillosaurus and Pachyrhinosaurus. It was discovered in 1992 but renamed in 2020. The name means star lizard. It's in reference to the shape of the head and in homage to David Bowie's Starman. It had a very long nasal horn and a tiny remnant of a horn core, 
Judiceratops means Judith River Horned Face. It was found in Montana and named in 2013. It was discovered by Nicholas R. Longridge. The frill or parietal bone had a long midline bar, a rounded caudal margin, and reduced osteoderms. The horns above the eyes, post-orbital, are moderately elongate and inclined forwards and outwards. Wendy Ceratops was described in 2015. It was excavated from a bone bed in Alberta, found by Canadian fossil hunter Wendy Sloboda. It was an estimated 20 feet long. On the rear of the neck frill, the second and third epiparietals have a wide base and curve upward into the front. It also has an erect nose horn. Machyroceratops was first described and named in 2016. The name is derived from Greek meaning bent sword in reference to the unique frill ornamentations showing two curved horns on the uppermost part of the frill. The holotype was found in 2006 and is housed in the Natural History Museum of Utah. Sinoceratops was found in the Shandong province of China. It was named in 2010 and the name means Chinese horned face. It was around 19 feet long and 6.6 .6 feet tall. It was the first ceratopsid dinosaur discovered in China and the only known one from Asia. It is one of the largest known centrosaurians. They have at least 10 robust, strongly curved horn-like processes along the rear of the combined parietals and at least four horn-like processes on the combined squamosols. Medusa ceratops was first reported in 1993. The name was coined by Canadian paleontologist Michael J. Ryan in 2003. The name refers to the large, thick, snake-like spikes that extend to the sides of the frill. Medusa ceratops, like Judas ceratops, was found in the Judith River Formation. It is unique because it only has three spikes on each side of the frill. Mercury ceratops was found in 2007 and named and described in 2014. The name comes from the name of the Roman god Mercury because the neck shield is similar to his winged helmet. It was about the same size as Chasmosaurus. Nasuto ceratops had a short snout and unique rounded horns above the eyes similar to modern cattle. These horns are the longest of all members of the Centrosaurian subfamily. It was discovered by Eric Carl Lund who named and described them in 2010. The name means large nosed horned face. The holotype skull is about 4.9 feet long. Diabloceratops was named and described in 2010 by James Ian Kirkland and Donald DeBlue. It was medium-sized and an estimated 18 feet long. The name, a combination of Spanish and Latinized Greek, means devil-horned face. The only two specimens were found in 1998 and 2002. The skull is deeper and shorter than any other centrosaurine. Regaloceratops is closely related to Triceratops. The skull was discovered in 2005 by geologist Peter Hughes. It was named for its plated frill, which was thought to resemble a crown. It was named and described in 2015 by Caleb Marshall Brown and Donald Henderson. Titanoceratops was named in 2011 by Nicholas Longridge. The reconstructed skull measures 8.7 feet long. This makes it a candidate for the longest skull of any known land animal. The holotype was collected in 1941. Ankyceratops was an estimated 16.4 feet long. The frill is elongated and rectangular, framed by coarse triangular projections. It had a short horn on the nose and two long brow horns. The first remains were found in 1912 by an expedition led by Barnum Brown. Alberta ceratops was found in 2001. It is known from a complete skull and postcranial fragments. It was described by Michael J. Ryan, who found the centrosaurian to be the most basal of them all. There were long brow horns and a bony ridge above the nose. It was an estimated 19 feet long. Ava ceratops was discovered by Eddie Cole in 1981. It had a distinctive frill, the squamosal. The element at the front of the frill side is a large and continuously curving instead of a stiffing edge. Vega ceratops means wandering horned face. The skulls are characterized by a reduced suborbital horn, low bosses for brow horns, and a larger snout. It had a strange configuration of apocopitals, bones surrounding the frill. The frill was shorter and squarer than other chasmosaurines. Pentaceratops was discovered in 1921 and was about 20 feet long. It had a short nose, two long brow horns, and long horns on the juggle bones. The skull had a very long frill with triangular hornlets on the edge. Pachyrhinosaurus means thick-nosed lizard. It was first discovered in 1946 by Charles M. Sternberg. The largest species was 26 feet long. Instead of horns, they had massive flattened bosses, a large one over the nose, and a smaller one over the eyes. There's a prominent pair of upward grown horns on the frill. Tarasaurus means perforated lizard, referring to the large openings in the frill. It was an estimated 26 to 30 feet long. It had one of the largest skulls of any known land animal. The large openings in the frill are called fenestrae. It's one of the characteristics that makes this genus distinguishable from Triceratops. The frill is also elongated, and Tarasaurus had a short nose horn. Spinops was first found in 1916. It was described in 2011 when a new species of the same genus was discovered. It had two large spikes at the top of the frill, one above the nose, and two tiny ones above the eyes. Utah Ceratops was discovered by Mike Getty and named in 2010. They were an estimated 19 to 23 feet long and 6.6 .6 feet tall. The nasal horn core is caudally positioned, the suborbital horn cores are short and robust, and the episquamosols on the mid portion of the lateral frill margin are low and very elongate. 
Xenoceratops means alien horned face. It was first discovered in 1958 by Wayne Lansing Jr. and described in 2012. The name is a reference to a lack of ceratopsian species known from the foremost formation. The midline of the frill has no bumps or ornamentations. The two bony projections close to the midline of the frill are thick knobs and have straight spikes next to them. It also had large brow horns. The anterior corners of the parietal have a large anterior knob. This took many, many hours to research and it's going to take many hours to edit. And there are so many more Ceratopsians. I was gonna try and fit them all into one video, but when I hit like 30, I was like, wow, this is a lot. It's gonna be a lot to edit. This was a pretty extensive list and there's so many more Ceratopsians out there. Thanks for watching.